Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm working on some watercolor. I was having some trouble with my computer, so here I kind of started slowly because I was waiting for my computer to work. Um, and I'm using these 4x4 canvases to practice a particular watercolor style that I want to do for a friend who needs a particular this particular style. Well, hopefully this one. Anyways, I'm working on some projects for somebody and um, I decided to make a video of my test uh, pieces. So this is it. I'm using these watercolors here, these brands. This is like a, a, I don't know, it's got like Ukrainian, Russian writing over it. It's actually Russian. Um, and then I'm using metallic uh, lusters, which really make, they work really great as using them as uh, watercolor. And I really love using them in that way. And water pencils to sketch and that kind of thing. And the little, the little portable one, I can't remember the name of it. Do I have a name on there? It is Windsor. Newton. So the little portable one that you see here on the side is Windsor Newton. So I'm just kind of working on it and I spray my uh, watercolors and even my um, metallic lusters with a little water and um, to get my paints moving. Also it's easy enough because you just seen me spray my canvas when I made a mistake that it's something I didn't like and I wiped it off. So it's kind of easy to play watercolor, really fun, easy. I'm not too familiar with it haven't been dabbling in that long enough. Um, I like wa working on with watercolor paper preferably than canvas but I just um, had to do this project on canvas so I decided to practice on canvas so that is it. So I'm making a background scenery of mountains trying to make some kind of uh, uh, w water bed, river bed but not really with uh, water in it. I don't know how to <laughs> it's just kind of the look I'm going for and there's supposed to be some um, softness to it but lots of hard lines and hardness to it as well because it's for a particular um, project and that was what I was asked for. Kind of soft watercolor flow but yet she wanted hard lines in it and that kind of thing. So this particular canvas I didn't finish at the beginning. I thought I was didn't quite like it. I moved on to another canvas but I ended up finishing it at the end and you'll see that same mountain range um, done at the end um, on some pictures. Really what I'm doing um, is just adding the colors that uh, I, that were asked for. This is some rose gold I'm dipping in now and putting some of that in the, in the sky. Uh, I'm drawing each piece as I go instead of making the whole thing soaked. And because I'm not wa working with watercolor, I'm not wetting the canvas so much and then um, painting. Whereas I'm kind of putting it on a little bit dry. Um, maybe in some parts I'm wetting the canvas and letting the paint flow, but it's a little bit different with the canvas than um, the watercolor paper. At least it's a little different on the way I am doing it anyway. And as you can see, the first one I'm really warming up to and I'm not really got my um, crafting legs on or w w as you would say, um, I'm just kind of warming up and playing with it. So um, when I went back to it, I really did uh, feel like that's when I got to the point where everything was kind of coming out better. Um, it's nice sometimes to when you're crafting or to before you start something important to kind of maybe do pre-doodles and pre-sketches just to get warmed up in your your flow 
of things and I think after I did this one and I expected that that the first one wasn't going to be the best but it ended up turning into something pretty nice at the end when I went back to it anyway so that's nice um, but it's always good to start and do a little bit of a warm-up in your crafting to get to that flow where your creativity is coming out to where you like it because right now for me it was not flowing to the, my best it was just kind of warming up and uh, yeah exactly that really warming up and uh, looking not like a, something I enjoyed at that moment until like I said after going back to it Now here's the next canvas. I just numbered them, I think, um, on the back one too, just so I know which one I was working on first. And then um, also too, when I get uh, my friend to choose the style she likes best, I probably will work on more canvases as well. Um, I'll have them numbered so it's easy enough for her to say, okay, number one, number two, and that kind of thing too. So this is a different little bit of a mountain style. Um, still not sure on the range that um, she was wanting me to do so I thought I'd do a different little bit of a different style and range mountain range and uh, this one is where I start like I said getting that flow in more and here on the top of the canvas I did wet the, f the whole sky part and add the uh, some of the watercolor in there and that worked really nice for me so it, it can be done not quite as nice as watercolor paper but it can be done um, but I would just dry layer by layer so it gives it more of a soft look, but um, that's something that is not wanted quite in this painting. So, of course, I went harder as I went along. The sky can be a nice soft look, though.
Now this is kind of where I got stuck before so I went with my watercolor and then I did on card and I just did some hard lines. This is something that I was asked. They, they wanted some hard lines. They want some softness to it yet some hard lines on, on this particular um, project. So that's what I did. I put some hard lines in the black, um, in the turquoise as well as in the copper kettle and did I do some in the rose gold? I don't think so. I think I just did it in the copper and then the turquoise as well. And then pulled some of the color down with wet brush just to get it. So you can see I'm pulling it and moving a little bit, but you you know you don't want to mess up those hard lines too much. And I'm changing, I'm turning the um, canvas all directions, which is really nice and convenient to get the angles I want. I even do that um, to the mountains. I get those, I put more watercolor there and just do a little hard line on the water. Uh, I mean, on the edge of the mountains and that kind of thing. And it's nice to have a little strip of cardboard that's small enough. It's like one inch by four or five inches or something like that. So I just do the one side and just bend it, curve it, manipulate the card to suit the painting. And that is really it. Um, I really like how it came together after this. I splashed some turquoise, I splashed some copper on there. Um, I did sign it after um, with watercolor pencil and then I sealed it with a matte seal from Deco Art, which I absolutely love. Um, the matte seal really works well with the watercolor so I really like it with all different ty type of paints but the watercolor it really works good and it gives it the matte look and it won't move my my painting so I like that. I hope you guys enjoyed these little um, 4x4 canvases and um, maybe give it a try and yeah let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye friends for now.